how to slice an image in Photoshop, create multiple slices. Just going to go to image and image size. You can see it's 2000 by 2000. That's just to make it easier for me. So I'm going to create multiple documents with 400 by 400. And I'm going to use the slice tool to slice that image up into squares. Of course, you could use rectangles, etc. So with the slice tool selected, just drag over the document, go right to the top left and then drag. And you can see the size coming up and I'm going to go by yeah, slightly yeah, 400 by 400. And what you can then do is hold down the alt or option key and drag. Key thing that's quite helpful here is the view and snap and snap to and you can see all the various settings there. So you hold down the alt or option and you can drag and now what will happen you see the snap will show you where to go. It will you snap it into place. You can see the guides there. And you can just drag it across and that will be, can be repeated over and over again with all those slices. So I'm just going to create 25 slices, five by five, all 400 by 400. But you could do 200 by 200, whatever, or maybe 200 by 100. So once you've done that, go to file and export and save for web legacy. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to go with, see the settings there, just going to go down to the save command. You can see all the slices in the panel there. Click save. And now what will happen, it will save it to wherever you save your documents. Well, I'm going to select location on my desktop. And I'm going to call it one underscore. So now all the slices will be saved to JPEG files. One underscore, zero one, zero two, zero three, zero four, etc. And you can see they're all identical size. And it's just the image all split up, sliced up. So you can do a few things with that. You probably could do hundreds of things with them, but I'm just going to go through a few of them. Just going to go first, file and new. Just going to create a document. In this case, 600 by 600, or I could change it. Keep slightly bigger, a thousand by a thousand. Click create. Once you've done that, what you can do, you can go to file menu again. You can go down to place embedded. Go to the folder that's you've got all the JPEG files and select right at the bottom image sequence. Select one of the files, so the underscore zero one. And then image sequence and then place, and they've all been placed in that document, that complete new document. Press return. They're all there now. Of course, it's in a smart object. But what you can also do is you can go to the window menu. You can go to a timeline, and you can create a video timeline. Now, if you go along the timeline, just go all the way along. You scan through the video head. And you can see now you've got your all your images. <laughs> of course, that's maybe a very esoteric way of using it, but it creates some very interesting video effects very quick and easily, just using simple slice tool. And you can then go to us to export in the file menu and render video to save it as MP, whatever.
Of course, you could also use After Effects as another option. Might be easier. If you've got Creative Cloud, of course. What you can also do, there's a command, and I'm just going to go down to there in the scripts. Further down, and there's load files into stack. And that's a great way of bringing, of course, you can do it manually you can just bring them in if you wish. But you can also, you can just do it this way, bring in all the files. Click browse. Select all the files you want to bring in. I'm going to bring them all. So they're all going to be there. Click open. And you'll see them all appear in that list on the left side. You could also open it as a, create a smart object, etc. I'm not going to do that. So you're going to click OK. That takes a few seconds to process it. But what will happen, you will see in the layers, over there in the layers panel, you will see all of the layers now, all available. And of course then what you can do, obviously in here it's a 400 by 400 document, they're all the same size. You can manipulate them, you can remove them, move them around, resize them. You can also select them all. So if you want to select them all, just go to the top one, all the way down to the bottom of the shift. And the bottom one there. So they're all selected now. And then you can, of course, go to the blending mode and change it into something like difference. I mean, sometimes it really comes out really weird and really interesting. Sometimes not. Especially if it's a colour document. This one's black and white, so it doesn't look so effective. The difference is quite good with all those layers. But what you can also do is, once you've got them copied, uh, selected, you can edit and copy menu. So all those layers have been copied. Create a new document, this time that 1,000 by 1,000, 2,000 by 2,000, up to you. And what you can do, edit menu and paste. And all those layers will be pasted into the document. And what you can then do is, of course, you can place them in different positions. Recolor them. Maybe turn them into smart objects. And maybe apply effects. So each of those images, those layers, maybe could have like different blurs, or maybe different oil paint effects, or maybe different colour effects, adjustments. So you could just recolor them all slightly. Create all kinds of weird and wonderful designs. And you can resize it as well as rotate them using the bounding box. Just resize it, fill the screen. So you can create some very interesting designs, very simply using the slice tool. Just the slice tool, create those various slices. Of course, I've gone with 400 by 400, but you don't have to do 400 by 400. You could do 150 by 200 or maybe thin slices. So the whole document could be split into thin slices and then bring them in and then just place them in different places. So it's a really quite useful tool for just quickly creating. And of course you can do it other ways. You could use the selection tools and then paste them, copy and paste, copy and paste, etc. And that's all from in this case, just using the slice tool, which you can find in the tool panel. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Always adding new tutorials about Photoshop, Illustrator, Affinity, and many others. Also, please add some comments. Always appreciated. A dislike or like. Thank you much.